I guess. Follow, watch the video, subscribe, help the channel out. Thanks for subscribing. This is Half Fast 719. Stay to the end of this video where you're going to hear this beast start with just headers. I'm going to jump in it and start it at the end of the video. So make sure you guys watch all the way to the end. Good morning, guys, YouTube people, world. Hey, uh, went to the good old schmott meet this morning. Found absolutely nothing except for some shirts. Was trying to make a deal with a guy for some uh, cutoff wheels, but uh, he wanted 40 bucks for a pack. And he said, but I'll take 25. And I said, well, if you'll take 25, will you take 20? And he said, no. I said, like, okay, have a good day. Um, anyway, went there, found nothing, went to the Wally World. Got some more spray paint. Some black spray paint. I picked up some of this Extend, extend Rust Neutralizer. Converts light rust. To a paintable surface so I'm gonna end up spraying that on the hood hinges and springs and obviously bought some more spray paint uh, but yeah so for the most part um, got paint oh and I did get I went to AutoZone and picked up my part idler arm they ended up having it. Uh, they were supposed to call me yesterday, but whatever. People are busy, apparently. So, here's the idler arm. A lot different than uh, what that kit came with. As you can see. Oh, man. Got. Uh, Zerk fittings, one for here, one for there. Um, here's the. Nope, here is not the one. Um, it's the other ball joint. Oh, here we go. Here we go. That's the other one. As you can see, it's a wee bit different. So, anyway, uh, I ended up spending 37 bucks on that. Um, as you can see, obviously, I got the wheels and tires back on. Um, I did order, so, 
I, I ordered parts from Advanced Auto Parts a lot. Like I ordered uh, some brake pads, rotors, front and rear, all the way around for the drunken ram for my truck. So I ordered some brake pads, rotors, uh, axles, and lower ball joints from Advanced Auto Parts, which is CarQuest, if you don't know that. Um, I did that. Yeah, ordered that stuff. That'll be in next week or whatever. I will be off. As you can see, I still have this wiring. Mainly because this is headlights, tail lights, or headlights, running lights, horns. Um, only because I don't know if I'm going to leave this here. Or if I'm going to make a bracket for coolant overflow over there, which I'm probably going to have to make a coolant uh, bracket. As you can see, I got the battery in this hose. I don't, I don't remember what that wire is for. Um, so I'm leaving it there. This hose, if you see my other video, that's going to go to a bung that's going to get welded to the radiator wiring for the most part is cleaned up um, but yeah so uh, what I'm gonna do right now is I'm going to install the little uh, idler arm as you can see I got most of it all painted under there got the air shocks installed bottom bolt is not in however I'm going to have to come up with a way to extend that to make because the shocks are still a little bit too long so um, I still have a good inch I think the shocks are bottoming out so what I'm gonna do, sorry for being winded, it's just hot, is I'm going to cut, if you can see it or not, I'm going to cut the bump stop bracket and uh, shorten that and then I'll take this shock hoop that's there, I'll take that shock hoop and it is not going to come in good. Anyway, I'm going to take that shock hoop and uh, I'll just draw a little picture real quick because I like drawing. So right now, doing this left-handed. So I have the shock running through right now with the nut. And then these are threads. And then, you know, the shock is like this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to have to cut this out, cut this out, and uh, take some strap, probably weld strap on, like my toolbox. Probably weld a strap, bend some strap like that, put it on like that, and then this way the shock will attach in here. So I'm going to bring it up about two inches and uh, go from there. So that'll have to wait to another video. However, um, I do only have three lug nuts on here. I do only have the ball joints tight. The upper one is just tight on both sides. I do have to replace the upper one over here. Um, but when I get the other ball joints when they come in and I come back to work or come back from work uh, that's when I'll have to do all the work and everything but so technically I could just wait for this idler arm which I might do so this might just be a blabbing video um, so yeah I gotta get these springs and hinges uh, coated in that stuff I might try to fix the little pivot where I got that bolt 
Might try to fix that. I don't know. I'm kind of wore out. It's just hot. Can't talk. Um, um, but yeah, so I did find out that the, I can get this AC condenser. I can get an AC condenser for about 45 bucks. That'll fit in between here. So, um, this is 24. Basically, this opening in here from there to there is 24 inches. So, I can get them for 23 inches. 23 by, uh, I think it's 16. 16 inches tall. So, I think I'm going to go that route. They're pretty cheap. They're about 45 bucks. The only thing is, I'll show you if it's still up on my phone. So, I can't. 16, 26, 20 by 26. That's too big. 21 by 11. Let's see. What is this one that I got here? 23 by 14. So the only thing is, this comes with these little fittings, which I have no clue what those are supposed to do. It does come with a, a temp switch, so that uh, you can tie it into something, and then when, oh maybe that's a pressure switch, so when it kicks on, you can have an electric fan automatically turn on, which means I'll have to wire in a new relay. Uh, so, that's 58 bucks. Sorry, I don't even know if you guys can even see it because of the light. So, $58. Um, but yeah, so I think I'm going to go that route. This way it looks a little cleaner. So, you get a uh, kit includes a universal condenser. Parallel flow, one low pressure switch, AC receiver dryer, uh, one fitting straight female, aluminum O-ring, one fitting 90 degree, one fitting straight female, one 90 degree. So, uh, basically, I'm thinking, I'm thinking how it works is it just maybe presses in there, I don't know. I don't know. You guys tell me what you think. All I can tell you is that heater works, AC works, or sorry, not the AC doesn't work because I don't have anything charged, but the HVAC does work. But anyway, I'm going to get to uh, probably install this. I got food cooking, and I'm going to go eat something. I'm going to put this in real quick, get my hands a little dirty for the day, and... Uh, yeah, go from there. So let's uh, do that real quick.
All right, guys. It's installed. However, I still got to put the Zerk fittings in and uh, cotter pins. Everything to that nature. Um, that lower ball joint on this side is is new, but the thing is blown out. The upper ball joint is new and it's fine, but I'm gonna replace it anyway. And then uh, I have the new upper ball joint on that side. This one's all drilled out. That took all of about a year. Um, so anyway guys, uh, yeah, so I'm just gonna relax. Maybe have a beverage or two. And uh, that's it. That's all I got. So if you guys want to subscribe, go ahead. If not, you ain't hurting my feelings none. Uh, but feel free to comment. Give me a like. Help out this channel a little bit. Likes do help. And uh, yeah. Almost ready to see this thing driving. Uh, I was going to install the front clip. I was going to put the fenders on and everything. But being that I still have to do a little bit of suspension stuff. Ball joints, axles. I figure that clearance is probably better than having the fenders on. And I still have to paint the hood hinges. I got to figure out an AC condenser that fits in here. Because I want it to be better than that, obviously. That's bowed quite a bit. So anyway, that's going to be it, guys. Thanks for watching. Subscribe, comment, do what you guys do. And, uh, yeah, that's it. Later. All right, here we go. Oh, she down here. <clears throat> Fire up.